Welcome, my name is Michael Mastro. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Vasu Creations. Today, we're going to look at the chart of uh, Bill Ritt Richardson, uh, ex-governor of New Mexico, uh, who passed away re recently. May he rest in peace. Um, if you look to the eastern horizon when he was born using Vedic sidereal zodiac, you would see the constellation associated with Capricorn rising at 10 degrees. First, we're going to look and see how the planets are operating. Then we'll look and see when they're operating and uh, what could be done to strengthen the chart. So uh, sun is uh, uh, challenging any multicono sign in the 6th, 8th, or the 12th. The, their ruler becomes functional malefic and can cause challenges. So we see a uh, fifth sign of Leo in the eighth house and the ninth sign of Sagittarius in the 12th house. So Leo ruled by Sun and uh, Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter. Those both become malefic planets. So uh, we have Sun here. Um, it is a bit challenging and it, it gives him leadership abilities and ability to pro solve problems, uh, diplomatic issues. Um, but because it's weak, it does affect the heart and the di digestion. And he did have a heart attack. Um, then we have weak moon. Moon is poorly placed in the 12th house, a challenging house, and it is weak in degrees, said to be an infant state. Any, uh, any plant that's less than five or more than 25 uh, has trouble promoting its own significations. Uh, but it does give him ability to separate from who he is and take on political um, uh, abilities. Uh, and then, um, especially with uh, foreign, you know, the 12th house has to do with foreign uh, issues uh, and foreign political relationships. Then we have weak placement infant Mars. Mars is placed in the eighth house and it is also... Uh, at zero degrees, uh, infant state. Um, and it was ruling the house of family and happiness and placed in that house. So he gets ha happiness through um, uh, overcoming, overcoming obstacles, helping others overcome obstacles, like helping getting uh, uh, prisoners, uh, detained people in foreign countries released, like Brittany Grimes. Um, Mercury is ruling the uh, house of good fortune and it's placed in the career house and it's close to the most effective point. Excuse me. And it is uh, his strongest planet. So it gives him great charismatic uh, uh, communication spill, uh, skills that he uses in his career and his diplomat. In his, in his ability to be uh, diplomatic, and um, and and it's ruling the house of politics. So, uh, good fortune in politics in his career house. So that's his really his um, success comes through Mercury. Then we have challenging uh, Jupiter again ruling that twelfth uh, house. Gives them again the ability to separate and take on different roles like a counselor. Uh, it does afflict the fifth house, and and the fifth house has to do with children. He had no children. Then we have Venus um, ruling the career house, placed in the house of income and con uh, connections, and uh, career. Uh, Venus itself has to do with law and diplomacy, um, and. Uh, he has uh, and also his social connections. Then we have weak, old, uh, afflicted Saturn. Saturn is afflicted by K2 and it is uh, ruling the house of wealth. And um, it, it is placed in the uh, partnership house. So it gives him wealth through uh, years of public, 30 years of public service and foreign diplomacy. Uh, the seventh house has to do with foreign, um, feeling comfort, comfortable in foreign countries. Um, then we have um, 
challenging Rahu and K2. And these are just um, giving K2 giving desire uh, in uh, insights into uh, how to help uh, different countries and people. And Rahu's giving giving uh, desire for education. He was a teacher. Um, gives him teaching abilities. So let's look at the timing of events. So he was first wanted to be. Um, in baseball, and then he changed that. Um, uh, he got married in 72 during a moon period. Moon is uh, ruling the house of marriage. In 73, he became a political staffer during a sun period, sun having to do with uh, politics. Eight, in 78, he moved to New Mexico during uh, Mars period. Mars is ruling the his uh, residence a change of res causing a change of residence at that time then he um he uh, ran for an office and lost uh in 1980 during a rahu period rahu giving unexpected events in 82 he was elected to the house of representatives during a jupiter period jupiter again taking on these Political roles. Ninety-seven, he became a UN ambassador, also during a um, Rahu period, and um, giving um, again this great diplomatic uh, job. In two thousand three, he became governor uh, during a Mercury period. Uh, Mercury again, his best planet. Um, uh, then in two thousand. Uh, and seven, he ran for a president and during a K2 period, K2 brings uh, unexpected losses. And he had a uh, accident, skiing accident where he hit his head uh, in 2009 during a Rahu period, Rahu again, causing unexpected events. 2011, he had a heart attack during a sun period. Sun is indicated for heart and it's weak in his chart. Um, and then he uh, passed away in September 1st, 2023, during a Jupiter period. Jupiter is the end of uh, ruling the house of end of life. And in the chart, Jupiter is afflicting sun. Uh, sun is uh, ruling the house of death-like experiences. And sun is also indicated for heart. And uh, not sure about the cause of death, but some people say he just had a heart attack during his sleep. Um, what could be done to strengthen the chart? Well, um, doing charity work for Rahu, K2, Sun, and Jupiter. Um, he's already doing that. Uh, he had a pretty good long life. Um, and uh, my favorite kavash to strengthen his benefic planets is a... Uh, Kavash, a silver locket containing the David Ta Yantras for his benefic planets. Um, if you'd like to get a Kavash or learn Vedic astrology, get a reading, you can go to www.vastucreations.com. Thank you so much for listening.